Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel for another review here in 2021. I'm very excited to talk about this film that I don't know where, somewhere down the line, um, somebody tipped me off about this film, and I, whatever I thought going into this film, whatever they tipped me off with, I just was completely surprised because this film was just absolutely nuts. I, I, I heard it was going to be a good time. But I really didn't know what was in store for me here. And I am very excited to talk about PG Psycho Goreman. This film is going to be coming out January 22nd in theaters on demand and digitally. Uh, this is brought to you by the writer and director Steve Kostansky. Make sure I say that right. Uh, and first off, before I even go any further, I really, really, really appreciate his take on this genre here. That uh, monster kid friendship type of thing um that we've seen in previous film i really love how this is really refreshing uh really to this day and age but still really plays homage back to you know the late 80s early 90s um horror genre uh and, and, and aesthetics and everything uh within this so like i really do appreciate his work and you can tell that he has an appreciation for this genre and this subgenre, shall i say as well um and this does an amazing job and then when you're going down with the casting here you got uh, Michael Nienenberg, who plays the alien PG, and then you got Nina Josie H Hannah, uh, who plays Mimi, the little girl who is absolute star in this film. I loved every single moment of her in this film, and when you added the two of them, her and the alien together, they truly created magic. But what's happening in this film, really quickly, is that uh, you got these two little kids. They ended up digging themselves up a hole and uh, unraveling a ancient um an ancient stone which ultimately awakens this alien who's been um really kept asleep for millions of years after he tried to uh destroy the universe and he failed and now that the stone has been awakened which is the source of his power it awakened him so now he wants to get the stone back but the little kid has the stone which means she has control over him so you got him this entire time trying to figure out a way of getting the stone back. And you have this little, little, little girl who's having the best time of her life with her own personal buddy. So what's happening in this film, too, is this like it's a dark comedy. And like this film by no means is for kids, but it's very kiddish as far as the logic, as far as with the plot, because there's not a lot going on in the story. But when there is, I mean, it's just beyond crazy. It really, really is. Uh, but with the dark humor, it gets weird. But really, at the same time, they're really not afraid to take chances and really offend in a lot of the dialogue and different scenes that they do throughout this film. Uh, and there's just la laughs left and right. Like, the plot, I mean, the script is just completely filled with tons of laughs left and right. And if it's, just, if it's not mannerism, if it's not dialogue, if it's just not some of these uh, little segments that's happening throughout it, it's just filled with laughs left and right. I literally laughed the entire time. At the same time, too, uh, because it is a dark comedy and horror, I definitely had a lot of jaw-dropping moments because the gore in this film is just kind of mind-blowing. Really, really well done. Come back to that in a second. But yeah, sure, there was holes in the plots, but like I'm cool with that because the the, the plot wasn't really in depth. Again, it was very it's like again, maybe for kids of some other universe or whatever it may be. But it, again, it's very, very thin plot and story. But it's super enjoyable because the comedy really carries it. And then just the performances are just really, really well done. And speaking of performances, like the duo, again, between uh, Anita and Matthew as the alien and Mimi. I mean, they're just so good together. Uh, Mimi is this little obnoxious little brat. Um, very self-centered. I mean, everything revolves around her. She's very mean to her brother. It just everything revolves around her. And then you have this alien who's just brutal. He's quite frankly, he's mean and he's cutthroat and he's doing whatever he can uh, in very savage ways to get the stone back. And you kind of think like, why does how does the two of those pair? Well, I, let me tell you, when you see the two of them together, it's just very fantastic. I just I can't stress enough. You're going to see some really amazing, but most ludicrous stuff you've ever seen in movies ever in this. Um, with that being said, too, um, there's a lot of good voice acting 
in this film because you got uh, different monsters. So you got different people in costumes, which I'll talk about costume design in a second. But the voice acting is really well done. Very believable, too. I mean, again, I've seen films recently, you know, really, uh, you know, use that uh, old school 80s and 90s style of monster designs and so on and it just comes off cheesy but this one comes off really well done and then you can just feel the execution and the voice acting as this makes it all really believable at the same time again it's still very funny but you can just tell people are really passionate about their roles and their performances here so like you don't have people who's just like taking up space or just taking up time just saying whatever like when when anybody speaks is it is very very much added um, and, and, and beneficial to the comedy at hand or even, you know, whatever it may be. Sometimes comedy, sometimes a little bit of the, the sinister tone that goes on kind of underneath it. I mean, the balance between the two is just so really well done. It really, they don't overpower each other. It's just really, really well balanced. But yes, um, the gore was nuts. The special effects was good. Uh, and again, when you're talking about this 80s and 90s uh, horror vibes that you get from this, like, again, the visuals, the special effects, um, all the, the chapter scenes, the plot, all the way to the music, all really caters to that aesthetic really well. And again, the costume design, the makeup design, all really, really crisp. Really, really enjoyed that for sure. Um, and then the, 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 the gore again, just the gore just takes it every day to the next level. But yeah, with this film, it doesn't take itself serious at all. Um, it's a good time. You will absolutely have fun and laugh the entire time. And even while all that's even happening, too, there is some action towards the third uh, and, and final uh, phase of this movie that uh, really, really uh, is, a, a, is a good icing on the cake for everything that's happening. And at the meantime, too. While all this is so ridiculous and hilarious, it does, in fact, still finds a way to get a plot, uh, a theme in there, excuse me, uh, about a, a really good family theme, shall I say, and a good life message that you could take away from this. So, yes, as, as, as much as it's just a good time and a good watch, there is a really good undercut theme that uh, is really beneficial to, to, um, to everything that's going on. So. Again, this is coming out January 22nd. PG Psycho Gore Man. Going to be in theaters, on demand, and digitally. Folks, let me know in the comments what you thought about this film once you check it out. If you've seen the, uh, the trailer, are you interested? I'm telling you, the, the trailer, and you're looking at uh, the synopsis and the premise of this, it's definitely going to get you very, very much interested. And if I'm saying things that really strike your interest, trust me, this is going to be the movie for you, so you definitely want to check this out. But I'm going to need you to come back in the comments let me know what you thought about this film. And as always, folks, stay tuned because more reviews are coming really soon. Thank you for watching, folks.